This video will show you how to import device firmware into Voice Console. The first thing we want to do is log in with an account that has permissions that will allow you to import the firmware. Any account that is configured with an administrator role can do this. Once you've logged in, you'll want to click on your Voice Console tab and then on Device Management. In the left menu, you, under Navigation, you will find a link for Voice Client. Once you click on that link, you'll be able to see all of the Voice Clients or Voice Catalyst that you have already imported into your system. Under Voice Client Actions, you're going to have an Import Voice Client option. Go ahead and click on that, and you want to choose where you save the file to. The files will have a .vos ending on them. You want to make sure that if you have received a file from Mountain Leverage that is in a zipped format, that you unzip the file first. Um, you can't actually import the zipped format. Click Open. And here you can add notes if you like. Click Next. On this page, it's going to show you your version, what the voice client or voice catalyst name is, and here is where you're going to select the languages that you want to import and use with this voice catalyst or voice client. You can always come back and re-import your voice catalyst or voice client and select more languages if you find that you have a need for them in the future. For now, I'm just going to select English United States and Spanish Mexico. Click Next. And on this page you'll have the option to either choose to load this to all of your sites or to a specific site. For a specific site obviously you just check the box next to it or if you wanted to go to all sites you select the box next to site name and it will pre-select all of them for you. Click Next. And here you're presented with the Vocalex Software License Agreement, which Honeywell does, of course, recommend that you read in its entirety. And once you have done that and scroll down, you will have the option to accept the license agreement. And that's all there is to it. You will get a green banner up here showing you that it has successfully imported and you will see it show up in your list of voice clients.